Hi there and welcome back to Bevel Toyota. I'm Bronwyn and in today's video I will be showing you five things you may not know about your Toyota vehicle. Keep in mind that these features are available on select models and trim lines so they may not be applicable to all. You can also reference your manual for further details. Let's get into it. The first thing you may not know has to do with your instrument panel brightness. I'm using a RAV4 for demonstration, but this feature is not isolated to just RAV4 models. In models that have the brightness adjustment like this one, there may be a dimming on off option. You can scroll the dial to increase or decrease the instrument panel brightness as I'm doing here. You may also notice there's a little dot on the dial. If you scroll the dial to where it clicks into the dot icon, you have turned the dimming feature off. This means it will actually prevent the dash and other icons from dimming while driving at night. As long as the dial is not clicked in, it will automatically dim when outdoor light exposure decreases. This is actually one of the most popular questions that people ask. Almost every time it's because they have accidentally clicked in this dial while trying to adjust the brightness. If you want to keep a bright screen during the day but want it to dim naturally at night, just ensure that you scroll the dial to the brightest it can go before you feel the click. Moving on to number two is the Eco Climate Mode. On many vehicles, there's an option for Eco Mode to offer drivers a more fuel efficient way of driving. In some vehicles, there's also an Eco Mode for climate control. But what does this do exactly? Basically, it has the same goal. It can reduce fan speeds and air conditioning temporarily in order to reduce fuel consumption while still maintaining the desired cabin temperature. For those who have the Eco Climate Control setting, if you click Eco Driving Mode on, you will notice that the Eco Mode Climate Control is automatically activated as well in effort to reach peak fuel efficiency in your Toyota vehicle. You may indeed click this off if you would prefer the regular or normal climate control settings while still being able to drive in eco mode. This is a great option for city driving as it can successfully help to reduce your fuel consumption. For number three of the things you may not know about your Toyota vehicle, we are sticking with the climate control theme with smart flow mode. On some newer Toyota models, you may look at your climate control panel and notice this button at the end. This is called Smart Flow Mode. This can be a way to personalize airflow inside the vehicle. Smart Flow Mode directs airflow to seats occupied by passengers rather than to the entire cabin. For example, if there was only the driver and one passenger in the front of the vehicle, airflow would be directed mainly to the front of the cabin instead of at the back. As your vehicle has the technology to determine where people are sitting, the goal is to avoid using energy to heat or cool the seats of unoccupied passengers, which will ultimately increase comfortability for passengers and fuel efficiency of the vehicle. Now let's talk about number four on this list, which is linked windshield wipers and headlights. In some Toyota vehicles, the wipers are linked with headlights to help drivers have better vision at nighttime or during unclear driving conditions. To initiate this feature, ensure that your lights are turned to the auto option. Now, when you're driving during the day and you activate your windshield wipers with the spray to remove any dust, debris, or precipitation from your windshield, the vehicle may actually turn on the headlights as it senses you are potentially driving in foggy, unsafe, or hazardous conditions. This is a helpful feature as it prioritizes safety for all vehicles on the road and prevents the driver's field of vision from being compromised without requiring the driver to manually activate the lights. To determine if this feature is applicable in your vehicle, check the wipers and lights section in your owner's manual. For the last thing on this list, let's head to the back of the vehicle to check out the rear floor deck. This is a feature that is more specifically directed to RAV4 owners just because of the design of the back cabin of the vehicle. The back floor deck originally comes like this with that soft material. When you lift up the floor deck, you can see the spare tire, the jack, and tools to change a tire. However, you can also see this harder underlay of the floor deck. It's like a hard plastic. By gently pulling on the floor deck, it will release from its position as I'm doing here. Now, if you flip it upside down, you can actually slide it back into position. 
Once it's popped into its original position, it creates a more durable surface to place objects that you're transporting. For instance, if something in your grocery bag spills, it's easier to wipe clean. If you're packing camping equipment, it won't get ruined from Velcro or other types of materials. Mind you, the Toyota Cargo Liner is a better overall solution as it covers the entire floor deck and the back of the rear seats, but if you don't have access to that accessory, this can be a good secondary option to protect your vehicle. And those are five things you may or may not have known about your Toyota vehicle. Again, if you want specifics on these features and whether they are applicable to your Toyota, be sure to check out your owner's manual. That's all for today's video. I'm Bronwyn from Belleville Toyota. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.